Thank you. So um, I'm a self-professed history geek, and one of my favorite times and places in history is in France in 1789. The reason it's my favorite time and place is that before that time, before 1789, people, when they were born poor, they died poor. They just accepted that as the lot in their life. If you were born rich, you died rich. Again, just accepted. But it was due to the age of enlightenment that people started to see that you have individual rights and individual freedoms. I see that same type of medieval mindset happening today in the United States. People are accepting as just, this is the fact of life, they're accepting low wages. They're accepting the fact that healthcare is only for those who can afford it. They're accepting of the fact that you must go into huge student loan debt in order to get any type of education. I'm here to change that. I say we can fight against. Those are lies, and they are shackling our, the, this, this American dream that we so, so closely hold dear. I will fight, if elected, I will fight to make sure people have livable wages. I will fight to make sure that you are not, at the end of the month, deciding should I pay my health care bill or should I pay my grocery bill. I will fight to make sure that everybody has access to affordable and, and good education. We need to stop letting them divide us. We need to start believing in a good future for ourselves. And I want you to think of me on May 15th, because if you send me down to Washington, I will put the represent back in representative. I'm Gary Wigman, and I believe we need a representative in Congress who respects and reflects the values and priorities of all the people of the 9th District, without regard to political party affiliation. When I talk to our constituents, they don't say to me, yes, we want more of those politics of division. No, they say we're all Americans here, Dr. Wakeman. Let's come up with solutions for the betterment of all the people in our community, each and every one of us. Our number one priority is not going to be to build a wall or to not or to deny people, hardworking people who want to become Americans from entering our country. Our priority is going to be to create safe, secure, and high quality jobs for each and every one of us who work and live in our communities. We need to begin this process by fixing health care. As a medical professional with over 35 years of experience in this field, I am going to uh, begin by uh, advocating for a truly American health care system, one that starts by ensuring that each and every one of us is covered. This will not be a socialistic system, but rather one that will allow the private sector to compete for our health care dollars, and you will get to vote with your feet whether or not you're happy with the care and service you're receiving, rather than being subject to an in-network or out-of-network system. But one issue, if this one issue, if done properly, will bring us back billions of dollars that we can use for our infrastructure needs. We need to fix public education, but we're not going to do it by starving government or by allowing the wealthiest among us to not pay their fair share. There are people on this dais that have stated that they don't, they're skeptical whether or not climate change is caused by humans. I say it doesn't matter, okay? We, because we really need to share this finite source of soil, water, and air that we have. And we have the intelligence to understand that doing things that make our environment safer and healthier is smart business. And so in the best interest of our children's future, we want sensible protections. And we don't want to throw our environment under the bus for a few short-term dollars. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. People in the 9th Congressional District, my number one priority becomes pretty obvious. Many of the working families are hurting, and they feel that no one is listening. They really want to send someone to Congress from the real world. As a farmer, as a small business owner, as a former Secretary of Agriculture, I understand what hard work is. I understand what it is to meet a payroll. I understand what good pol public policy is, regardless of the politics behind it. The people in the 9th Congressional District share their values with me, the things that are important to them, it's integrity, it's accountability. If I'm elected, I promise to stay focused on these issues and carry these values to Congress. 
and I promise to be their voice. Congress needs a unifier, and they need some working class wisdom. And that's what I hope to do if I'm elected. Thank you, to work with commissioners from every single solitary county that is involved here to help provide solutions. As a commissioner, we are already dealing with the opioid crisis. We are dealing with agriculture problems. We are dealing with so many problems that need to be addressed at Washington. Again, on a bipartisan basis, uh, we work well together in Schuylkill County. I would say 98% of all decisions we all agree on because they are what the people need. I am pro-life, and that's a very important issue to me. I, I believe that life should be protected from at every stage from conception to natural death. And that fits right into the healthcare situation that we have to make sure that we have good, affordable healthcare for everyone. The immigration situation that we're dealing with, it's important because of the people that are out there that aren't paying their fair share from that standpoint. Let's do it legally. To take care of our firefighters and our first responders and our police officers that are there that are really on the first line of defense for us here in our country. The unfunded mandates and regulations that we have, I think that they are too many. We need to get government back to a local basis. And again, we need to protect and take care of our veterans. They are very important to us from that standpoint. I live, I work, I worship, and I already serve the people of this district. I serve the people of my county. I work with fellow commissioners throughout this district, and I want to do that for you in Congress. And I ask for your prayers and for your vote. Thank you, and God bless. I've lived in our region for 30 years. My wife and I have 27 years who's here, raised our family uh, in Luzerne County. During that time, I helped grow a business from a small business into a pretty large business, employing hundreds of people in Luzerne County. I did serve as, as revenue secretary. I'm now running for Congress for a number of reasons. First and foremost, it's going to work for the people. Folks, there's just simply too many in Congress that are about, that are about special interests, that are about self-interest, and they've lost the we the people interest. And I mean that in terms of the Constitution, and I mean it just, just for the, the individuals you, uh, that you, that you need to understand how to go work for. I'm running because I have experiences, uh, these 30 years of experiences in our community. I understand this district. I think I reflect this district to assure that, that their voices are in fact heard in, in Congress. Uh, I'm, I'm running because we don't, none of us like what we see in Washington. There's too much finger pointing, there's too much problem finding, and not anywhere near enough problem solving. Uh, it, it is about negotiating. It is about incremental gains. That's what our president is working on. I do want to go to Washington and help our president achieve the agenda, uh, the America First <coughs> agenda. It is about economic prosperity for all. It is about national security, much of what we've talked up up here. And it is about draining the swamp. So as we can gain more accountability, and that includes term limits, that includes a balanced budget amendment, it needs to happen in the next few years, and it includes a high level of regulatory reform. But the number one issue facing our country are obstructionists and those who think they know better than you and who want our government to be, to be about their power as opposed to the people. And, and, and this tends to be the left. There's certainly those on the right that participate, and when I say left, I don't mean Democrats, right? Because in Washington, I know many good Democrats throughout this district. When you get to Washington, you have to follow Nancy Pelosi's lead, and most Democrats in the ninth aren't about following Nancy Pelosi's lead. They're about following Pennsylvania values. Thank you, Dan. I'm a political conservative. I'm a Navy veteran, a former Trump delegate, and a resident in Berks County. I'm entering this race and I'm running because I'm also, as a, as a middle-class American, I'm tired of seeing the President's Make America Great Again agenda falter due to lack of support in the U.S. Congress. The people in Congress right now do not have the interests of the American people clearly in mind. They seem to be mostly consumed with follow up, with belonging to lobbyists and upholding special interests instead of thinking about 
the overall picture and improvement of life for all Americans. Items like national security, building the wall, deregulation, they're all very important parts of the President's Make America Great Again uh, agenda, and I fully support them. But the one issue that we haven't talked about here so much tonight is something I also feel very strongly about, and that is draining the swamp. Now, I know it's an expression, and it sounds kind of trite, but it really is true. As a former serving naval officer and CIA officer, I'm very aware of the politicization that has occurred in our government, which we can see every day when we see things like the Justice Department and the extra legality and abuse of powers that we're seeing every day. Reminds me of exactly why I'm running. Because this government is supposed to be a government that treats everyone equally under the law. And I, for one, am sick and tired of seeing high officials abuse their offices and constantly block the agenda which the American people have voted for. Um, Sean Hannity and Dr. Sebastian Gorka have endorsed my candidacy, and I feel very strongly about going to Washington, representing the people, and making sure that the President's Make America Great Again agenda is fulfilled. Thank you. Thank you, Scott.